All right, folks, so we're finally getting to part two of the van build. I'm here at Les Schwab with Alan Shoemaker. Alan, what is it that you do here at Les Schwab? My areas of responsibility for the company are management of brake alignment and ride control products, the purchasing and evaluation of the products that we're gonna offer for our customers. So Alan was very instrumental. We sat down, had a couple meetings about what kind of, what Les Schwab products we actually wanted to put on the van. And so Alan's gonna kind of go through you, with you guys right now, the, the products that we chose, why we chose them, and um, uh, what, why they might be a good product that you might want to look at as well. So in talking to Jason and looking at the requirements that he needed for his particular application, we thought that our open range AT tire would be the best choice. It's a Les Schwab exclusive tire. Uh, the reason we chose this is the AT, he does a lot of gravel road driving in addition to off-road. This is a great tire for both of those. Uh, it has a rigid tread block, which gives you really good stability on-road. It also is resistant to stone drilling, so that when you're on the gravel, it's more resistant to punctures. Uh, wet, wet weather, it is great. It have, we have the lightning sipes in it. That helps stopping and traction in wet weather, along with the staggered lugs. The, the staggered lugs, they help to quiet the tire, give it a smoother ride. And overall, we've had really good luck with this tire. It's been out for quite a while. You've got them on your Super Duty also, I believe. And um, it's worked overall very well for the type of applications that, and a lot of the overlanding demands that Jason has. Yeah, I, I like I said, I have had these on the Super Duty for a long time, for actually about a year, and I really like them because they do seem to get very good traction off-road and I like how they handle on-road and they're very quiet. Um, and since overlanding is kind of my main thing, I do spend a lot of time off-road, but I actually still, we still spend much of our time getting to a trail system or something like that. And you were a lot of highway driving. And I, I really like also that the fact that these have a 60,000, is it 60,000? 60, 60, 60, 60,000 mile warranty on them. And they wear very nicely as well versus um, we thought about going with the traction tire as possible, but just with the amount of actual on-road that I do, we just felt like this would, would give me the best all-around performance on my vehicle. Yeah, the, with this style of tread, it's more open, so you get the best of both worlds. You get the good on-highway handling, low noise, but you get the benefit of an open lug pattern for better traction off-road. It is also the Three Peak Snowflake designated tire, so it's good for winter driving also. Uh, so it, for where those that's required, this tire fits that, that build too. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And another thing too that um, when I air these tires down, they have these like little bit of lugs on the side and when I air down in the snow, um, and you get into a little bit deeper snow, I definitely feel like that helps a little bit of extra traction. Um, and I've been very impressed with, for as far as an AT tire concer is concerned, I've been very impressed with how these perform in, in deeper snow applications. So yeah, all around, I've just been very impressed with the tire and, and uh, happy to have them on the van. The wheels we went with for Jason were the Method Racing 701 Trail. Uh, it's a one-piece heat-treated wheel, uh, very strong wheel. It also has their bead grip technology built in. Basically what that is is there's little ridges in the bead flange that help hold the tire in place along with a larger bead hump to hold the tire on. So should you get off-road, want to air down, it's going to keep that tire on the wheel better than, than a standard wheel would. Yeah, and I've already had the opportunity. I've gone, done some snow wheeling in the mountains with the van, and I was able to air the, the van down to 15 pounds of pressure, which may not sound like much to some of you guys with lighter duty vehicles, but considering how heavy the van is and it's a one ton, uh, 15 pounds of pressure is, is pretty low. It's very low. And um, I had no problem, and the van got great traction, and. Uh, you know, we were able to go way up into the mountains in several feet of snow and it did very well. So, uh, and I felt pretty confident about doing that because of having that beadlock technology. I wouldn't have been quite as comfortable doing that with my Super Duty that does not have those same wheels on. I'd be a little bit worried about possibly um, breaking the bead. 
All right, Alan, so can you tell them a little bit about the shocks we put on the van and how they compare to other shocks on the market and you know why they are a good option for, for my van being an on-road, off-road van? Yes. The shocks we chose are our Les Schwab RMX monotube shocks. They're a monotube, nitrogen-charged gas shock. Uh, the nice part about the shock, these shocks is being a monotube, the oil and the gas are kept completely separate. So as you're driving the vehicle, getting into rough off-road areas, washed ported roads, and that shock is activating really fast, working really fast, it's not going to cavitate the oil, keeps the oil and the gas separately, which allows the shock to do its job consistently and stabilize the vehicle as you're going through there and dampen wheel and tire travel. Great. Yeah, and so far I've been pretty impressed that, you know, the van handles very well on-road and when I am off-road and I'm on washboard and stuff like that, especially if I air down just a little bit, you know, because, you know, van again being a very heavy vehicle, I keep my tires typically at 60 pounds, but if I drop down to like 35 or so like that and then along with these shocks, you know, the ride actually is pretty good and it's not super jarring um, when I'm on, uh, when I'm in going through washboard roads, so. Yeah, so, very, so far, fairly impressed. So, and when we were reviewing what we were going to put on Jason's vehicle for brakes, we were looking at what his demands were gonna be, the weight of his vehicle with the Super Duty axle conversion, and what we went with was the Raybestos calipers, which is the caliper we use on the brake jobs we offer in our stores. We went with the zinc-plated caliper. The zinc-plated caliper helps to resist corrosion. You see a lot of de-icers on the road. You get off-road, you get into the water, into the mud. It helps resist corrosion, keep that caliper working correctly. The friction we put in this is the Raybestos Element 3 friction. It is application-specific friction, and obviously the application, this friction was designed for was a Ford Super Duty, which is also a heavy vehicle. So it was per a perfect match for the van with the Super Duty axles. Uh, it, it works very well, low dusting, good all-around performance. It, it works good in higher heat situations for this particular application because it is application specific. To go along with that, we went with the Revestus Performance Rotors with the slots. And we went with the slots. These are fusion coated, again, to resist corrosion. The slots help with fade and cooling. The, what this does is it pulls the gases away from the face of the rotor. Because what happens when brakes get hot, the pads, the compound in the pads actually emit a gas. It's called off gas. That off gassing tries to push the pad away from the face of the rotor. That's what causes your soft pedal feel because you're having to push the pad back against the face of the rotor. So this helps to pull that gas away. These vents are unidirectional, so this rotor will fit on the left or right side. No holes. The benefit of that is every time you drill a hole in a rotor, if you go to a drilled rotor, it removes mass. That's that much less metal to absorb the heat your brakes are generating and dissipate it out. So the slots keep the face of the rotor, more contact patch, more solid construction, and help vent that gas away so you don't, it keeps, so you don't have the fade or the low pedal feel. Wow, I just learned a lot. I, I, did, I didn't even know all that. So that, that's, uh, that's actually pretty interesting. I didn't know all that about the off-gassing. And, and I thought, like, for me, when I saw the other drilled rotors and stuff like that, I thought it was just a matter of cooling. And I thought that was supposed to help with cooling and keeping the brakes uh, working better. But it almost acts like, sounds like it, it does almost the opposite. Is it doesn't cool as well. It's just for the off-gassing, huh? In, in theory, it, it's also for cooling and in some applications it does help cool the brakes. It, it's not as effective on heavier vehicles, commercial type vehicles, off-road type vehicles, where you're gonna want a little, little bit more mass, a little more meat in this rotor to help absorb that heat and dissipate that heat out. So one of the things that I've always done when I got new tires is I have you guys e either fix my alignment or check my alignment just to make sure everything is good. Why is that really important uh, for the life of your tire? It's very important for your tire. You don't know what's happened since your last alignment, what may have changed in your suspension that needs to be corrected. 
what, what will happen if you get a tow out situation where the fronts of your tires are towed out further than the back, you start to get a scrub wear on your tires. Or if your camber changes, you can get an inside or outside wear issue where you're, you'll see the edge wear off on one of your tires. And that just shortens the life of that tire and doesn't give you the complete value out of that tire. Yeah, and so I think it's really important, especially for overlanders, because we're off-road a lot. Um, our suspension components can wear, our steering components can wear a little bit more. So um, I like to make sure that it's checked often. And I think you guys now, in some of your Les Schwab's, you have a quick alignment machine that pretty much is fairly painless uh, that you just pull and pull out. Can you tell a little bit about that? We begin to offer in some of our stores a quick aligner, which is basically a drive over, checks your alignment very quickly. Uh, we'll be able to see if we need to make further adjustments or if it's within specification and you're ready to go. Yeah, it's something that, especially with my van being modified um, with the four-wheel drive and it's not necessarily a standard Ford setup, uh, I, I'm going to have mine checked you know, fairly regularly just to make sure that everything is uh, working out so it is going to be handy to be able to go use that quick aligner because it does take just like, I don't know, less than a minute to do it, so it's really handy. All right, Alan, so now that we've gone through all the components that you guys put on my van, what are some other products and services that you guys offer that uh, would interest the overland community or the off-road community? Uh, in addition to the products we've talked about today, we also offer performance suspension lift kits. We offer batteries. We cover everything from lawnmowers up through semi-tractors. And you guys have locations that pretty much cover the entire western part of the U.S. How many locations do you guys have? We have over 490 locations to service our customers. And my war anything that I buy at this store, my warranty and all that would be good at any of those locations, right? Any of those locations. So to me that's really important to have that type of support, especially if I'm out adventuring or overlanding outside of my base area, to know that everything that I have invested in Les Schwab, that even if I'm out two states away, like say I'm out in um, Utah, and I have a problem with one of my tires or my suspension, I know that I can, you know, I have the peace of mind in knowing that I can just go to the local Les Schwab there and everything will be fixed. And I think that's an important feature that people need to think about is when you're out overlanding, what type of support are you going to have when you're away from your typical mechanic or, or your uh, normal tire shop? And, and that's like I said, that's probably one of the reasons why I've enjoyed using Les Schwab me personally, I've used their tires and on my vehicle since I started driving is just because I know that anytime I have a problem, it's just taken care of and I don't have to worry about it. So I, I really think that's a great feature that you guys or service that you guys offer. Anyways, Alan, I want to thank you for uh, taking you. the time today. I know that uh, setting on camera is not your favorite thing, so I appreciate you uh, um, taking the time. And I, I, if you guys have any questions, Alan will be watching the comment section, and he might uh, be able to answer some questions that you guys might have. So if you have those, please leave those down below, and I'll catch you guys again outside.